going to do my makeup to go to the gym. This is a purple hair rubber band thingy. I want to pull my hair back real tight into a ponytail. Pull it back so tight that it stretches your face out so that it takes all the wrinkles away. And you have the appearance of a fresh face left. I want to wrap this around 16 to 18 times, keeping the ponytail tight. Pull it out. Make some uh, sprigs and tendrils. We're big on sprigs and tendrils because they look great on middle-aged hot women. Then I want to pull these things down on the side here. Poof it a little more. Use some Stila CC something in a box and some Revolve something in a round glass jar. Small. And then I want to get a brush. I'm using a black brush. It's the Sigma Foundation F60 and I'm putting stuff on my cheeks. Spread it around. Bring it around. Put it on your nose, your lips, your eyeballs. Bring it around some more and some more. Under the eyes, under the lips, under the nose, into the nose holes. All around. Spread it around. Around everywhere. And then I'm going to reach over and get some of this, which is the La Mer Illuminating Eye Gel. I like to put that on the tips of my fingers. Of course, for later application, underneath my eyes. Gives me a bright, open, um, airy appearance under my eyes. Um, not that I'm an airhead, but I do like for my eyes to be open and airy. This opens them up there. Remember, keep that ponytail tight. It stretches out the wrinkles. See, I'm done with that now. Just letting you know. It's a quick look for the gym. Back to the Stila um, CC thing in the box. I'm going to take that. It's more of a big crayon than anything else. And coloring's good. I don't care how old you are. And you put that everywhere. Really all over everything. Uh, your mustache, your lips... Yeah, those uh, hormone patches that uh, we girls get. See, this is what it is, and that's the color. It's in the light O2. Light O2. You don't want the O3, don't want the O1. The number of the Stila in the box is the light O2. And you need to stipple this around very, very quickly, as fast as you can. This is real speed, real important that you do it this fast. It doesn't work going in slow motion. Put it on your eyeballs in your eyes, in your ear holes, especially on your eyebrows. You want to cover those eyebrows up. Um, it's kind of a kabuki technique. You want to make your eyebrows as muted as possible. Uh, very fast, fast as I can. Stimple, 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 stimple. Underneath the chin. And yeah, yeah, get it in your eyeballs. Make sure you get it in there, around. Okay, I'm done with that now. And this is uh, Laura Mercier something in a in a glass jar. And I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. And surely you can't see either. But it's real sand. And you can also get this at the beach without buying it. Uh, you go take a mason jar and to the beach and go get your own real sand. Yeah, but you use a, a larger brush. Kabuki brush. Back to the kabuki theme. And you want to cover this uh, sand all over yourself. Um, I like to take my clothes off and just put sand all over me and roll around in the bed. More on my eyeballs. Yeah, up there, around, bring it around town, all over the place. Okay, get the sand out of the eyes. And I'm going to use the Laura Geller Baked Shadow Palette with um, these round things on the inside. At that point, I'm, of course, going to use the, uh, yeah, the Sigma blending brush. And I'm going to use this color up here. Not sure what it's called, but it's uh, line number one, column four in the palette. And you put it in there. And that's my, the, the uh, crease of my eyeball have other creases too, but you don't put makeup there. Yeah, right up there. And you'll notice I've slowed down now because my coffee's wearing off. Not as fast as the stempling. Yeah, and that's the one you want to use next. Row 2, column 4, 
column three. And the color's not important. You can turn it upside down. You still go to row two, column three. And I'm just going to brush this around up there with the uh, same Sigma brush. And of course you can get the Sigma brushes at sigmabrushes.com where I am of course a, a sponsored uh, professional. Blending, blending, blending. And use my fingers to uh, kind of clean up the edges there. And press on my eyebrows a little bit. Different brush now. And same palette. And I'm going, see that one right there, that one. Row two, column three. Underneath my eyeball this time, you want to, uh, yeah, and keep this stuff out of your eyes because you probably got sand in your eyes from earlier. You don't want to put makeup uh, on top of your sand in your eyeballs. Back in the crease. And I'm going around and around and around. Yeah, semicircle because... Uh, that's the way that shape is. It's a semicircle. More and more. And again, I'm going to, yeah, there, that's me. I'm going to the, this is Estee Lauder, the, um, yeah. It's a black, uh, it's a black pencil. Any pencil works. This one just happens to kind of be a roll up thingy and it doesn't work. Okay, throw that in the garbage, start over. And any pencil will work. Number two, number three. Um, but this one's kind of got a crayon consistency to it, and I'm lining, lining my eyes with it now, and remember I'm going to the gym, the goal is to uh, make the other middle-aged women hate me, and um, put the, uh, the fear into them that I could steal their husband at any moment, and you need a lot of eye makeup to do that. And I'm going to get a little mini wing out here. And, yeah, my crayon's not that sharp. Okay, I think I'm going to be done with that. Uh, my crayon's not as sharp as I would like for it to be. But uh, I'm going to work with what I've got in my hands right now. Yeah. And going, keep going back down. Yeah, yeah, big bold eye line. Big bold eyes. Big everything. And keep working. Okay. I think I'm about done with that. Looking good. Pretty blue eyes. No, I'm not done on this one. And smear it with my fingers a little bit. A little more. Yeah. Just a little flick there on the end. And clean it up with my pinky. And both sides. Back in now. And I only thought I was done. I'm going to keep working on it with the crayon. Done with that one now, and I've got, yeah, mm -hmm, that's what I think of that. Different brush, and dusting the sand into the eyeballs, avoiding cornea scratching, and there. Not sure what I'm going to go for next, but I know it's going to be more makeup. And this, of course, is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And I do call it mascara because it means I'm fancy. And I'm back checked up on coffee now. And I'm going really, really fast. And important you do 300 uh, mascara, mascara, lash strokes per eye. Um, 200 top, 100 bottom. And a couple extra both directions. And I'm almost done with my eyes. I find the mascara properly applied makes my blue eyes look even bigger. And I like to get up close and see my eyeballs really close. And now I've got this thing with the sponge on the end. And I'm going to smear some more stuff underneath my eyes to make them even brighter. So that uh, the women will hate me at the gym. And I can, uh, of course, fan my big eyelashes at their husbands and... Make the wife certain that I could steal her husband at any moment. And a little bit on my nose, too. Yeah, with the sponge thingy. See? And on top of my Cupid's bow. That's the top of my lip for you people from Goose Creek. And a little more out there with the sponge thingy. There. Yeah. And I've back got this thing going back under my eyes again. 
coffee wearing down. Stimple, stimple, stimple. And yeah, cover up those lines. Keep that ponytail pulled back tight too. It uh, flattens all the lines in your face. Not too tight though, because it can make you look oriental. Under the nose, in the nose holes, and on the crease above my lips. Under my lips, on my chin. Stimple, stimple. And looking pretty good. Going to use the uh, Punk Ass Princess palette now with the uh, this shiny, yeah, and this pink brush. Again, that's uh, SigmaBrushes.com. And put some of this brown stuff on the top of my head. Um, yeah, if you do it too heavy, it looks like a bruise. And when you're trying to steal people's husbands at the gym, you really don't want to look like a bruise. It's more of a highlight than a bruise. Yeah, okay, don't want to overdo it. That looks great. I look sun-kissed. A little bit on my uh, eyebrows, side of my nose. Yeah, going to contour the nose a little bit. A little more underneath. Yeah, yeah, that's looking great. A little on the top. Back up to the bridge. And see, I've got a lot of makeup, but I still look natural. Too natural. I don't like natural. I like lots and lots of makeup because more is more. And I like to put some into, of course, my hair on the side of my head. And I'm going to use this Q-tip now to um, clean out the inside of my nose. Now I'm finished with that. I'm going to clean up my eyebrows. Uh, and a little bit of over uh, application underneath with that crappy crayon that I just threw in the trash. And that's really going to give me a nice clean edge along the bottom. Back with a different brush and what I just cleaned up, I'm going to smear it back around. Yeah, yeah, don't want it too clean. And this is a little short, uh, short brush and I'm using this stuff out of this um, three pack of brow product. Yeah, yeah, those brows I covered up with the Kubuki brush earlier, I'm now going to uh, paint them back in. Uh, approximately the same color of some of my hair. Yeah, done with that now. I'm using this stuff, which is, uh, of course, uh, more brow product. Nah, see, I said, that, I don't put words in my mouth. Brows, not lashes. And very important that you comb those things backwards, make those lashes stand up. Yeah, just like that, backwards. If they grow that way, you, you got to punish them and make them go the other direction because you want to show them who's boss. And yeah, very brown, natural looking. I'm going to have natural brows because uh, that's what I'm going for today. There, yeah, keep going, keep, and that's about, about got them good. Yeah, you got to train them, show them who's, who's in charge. Gonna use some of this white stuff now, and sometimes the lid's hard to get off, but uh, it's got a marker tip on it, like a felt pen. And I can't see, and I'm gonna make a clean edge with my um, pointy Q tip. Clean the edge, clean that brow line, and yeah, right there. Put this flesh colored marker there, clean up that brow edge, and that looks great. Do the other side, and I'll be the prettiest housewife at the gym, and if I can't be the prettiest, I will have the most makeup and the best clothes. And there, and underneath, and underneath this side. Smoky Box by Smash Mouth. And, yeah, that color right there. I'm going to use the light color. And kind of press it under there. And press, 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 press. And smooth it out. Very nice. See how open and, and airy um, my eyes are? Bright. 
so they're open and airy but I'm not airheaded and this brush I'm going to use it again it's got stuff in it all kinds of stuff it's got sand it's got makeup it's got concealer it's got primer it's an all-in-one brush and up there and down on the sides in my eyeball just a touch there aren't I beautiful two times yep we want to do 300 strokes again 200 top 200 bottom yeah that's just wrong that would be 400 it's 200 on the top 100 on the bottom and back to the punk ass princess palette this one yeah right there and you got to put that back up under your cheeks with this brush and yeah that one too gives me a nice glow and accentuates my beautiful high cheekbones this one back for some more right on the apples and these are cheek apples there are other apples you don't want to put makeup on your other apples and this is a pink thing it has a, a, a cover on the end and it's the MAC uh, edge to edge lip pencil and I'm gonna overline my lips slightly underneath because I like big lips and I cannot lie and the coffee's wearing off again and I'm starting to go slow 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 over line slow all the way around and are not lovely okay and I've got it outlined top bottom side corners and top again and other side again and a little booger under my nose wipe that off with your pinky finger and now I'm going to use a two-part lip gloss first this one and you got to get in there and really put a lot of product especially in the middle right there and keep it off the uh, the overlining that you just did tap 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 and smear it around with my finger not the one that has the sand on it from the last time this is my ring finger not my pinky finger there and you see I got a, my liner is a little darker than, there than my lip gloss going back in to this time to row number four column one or if you're upside down just reverse it that one right there and I'm gonna put some more shiny stuff on the globe of my eyeball I'm going down to this one now row three column two up in the crease and now I'm going back to the smoke box by smash mouth this one that brush back underneath my eyebrows because I don't have enough product under there yet look in the mirror and more underneath there being careful not to undo the uh, the brow training that I did earlier and I'm looking good and this is some stuff in a La Mer jar and I'm gonna dump it on the floor and on top of my makeup um, vanity and I've got this black sponge thingy that's um, often mistaken for a phallic symbol but it's actually a sponge you take this and you press in that La Mer powder underneath there and it sets everything beautifully It'll be durable for the hard work out in the sweat that I'll be getting on here shortly. And I like to dance. 
very much like the uh, Charlie Brown dance, Christmas dance. And I purse my lips, and I'm going to tease my ponytail, nanner, nanner, nanner. A little back combing there, fluff it up, fluff it some more, fluff it some more, and more, and back tease, nan nana boo boo, nan nana boo boo, boo boo, and spriggy, messy, sexy, tendril, ponytail, still keeping it tight to stretch all the lines clean out of my face, but not too much and putting a stick thing in there that was actually a paper clip need big ones to get in there this is a bobby pin i like to coordinate paper clips and bobby pins and i'm looking pretty hot and now i gotta go put my outfit on i'm gonna look at the back of my yeah that, that's hot that's hot they're gonna hate me mission accomplished more of these, gonna stick those in there. You wanna have, uh, depending on how much hair you have, uh, probably 40 to 50 of these in there to hold everything together. And it doubles as a um, uh, isometric workout for your neck because you'll have several pounds of bobby pins in your hair when you finish. Yeah, big mirror, there's my camera. Me looking at me in my camera. Oh, aren't I lovely? Yeah, yeah, pin some more up there, and some more, pull it around, fluff it, and shit, I don't have my gym clothes on, I'm going to smear my makeup, putting my gym clothes on, because I got the wrong clothes on, I should have put my gym outfit on first, oh well, I'll have a good starting point, uh, yeah, very sexy from the back, and that side, and that side, not real happy with this one. Gonna fluff it around a little more. Sprigs off the side. And there I go with the Lucy dance from, and now I'm voguing because I'm 50. And those are my new braces. Ta-ta.